Outlook Southeast Asia, and today we are going to talk about the Food Connect aspect of 279FC. So data and connectivity is actually one of the most talked about topics in all industries now. IIoT, also known as Industrial Internet of Things, is a concept of interconnected applications, equipment and technology that improves information exchange. We put these smart technologies into use to plant. It will help with everything from trend analysis, data storage and real-time access. So 279 FC is a label of product for such technology. With Fluke Connect, a wireless technology proprietary to Fluke, built into this thermal multimeter, it elevates this DMM from a usual multimeter to an on-the-go troubleshooting tool. So how does it work? Okay, now we'll go through the step of how to download the Fluke Connect app. So first of all, you go to the App Store, and then from the App Store, you just search for Fluke Connect, and this will pop out. With this, if you have not downloaded the flu, just click download. But for me, because I already have this app on my iPad, I can just open up this app and it will lead me to the main page of the application, of the Fluke Connect application. Okay. So now that you're on the app, the next thing that you have to take note of is to ensure that you have turned on your Bluetooth connection. So for me, I will now activate my Bluetooth connection. So now my Bluetooth connection is turned on. The next thing I'll do is with Fluke279FC, we click onto this Fluke Connect button here. And immediately on my iPad, it will reflect the 279FC model that we are working with. Okay, now that the app is turned on, the next thing we, have, we can do is to tap onto the 279FC model. Okay, our 279FC is actually connected to our motor and drive kit now, so it reflects a reading of about 227 voltage. You can see that on the app itself, it reflects the live reading of it. So in the case where I want to take the thermal image of my motor and drive kit, what I'll have to do is just switch this dongle to the IR camera. And then I will be able to find my hotspot quickly. So you see from here, from the cam, uh, from the IR camera, there is a hotspot at the vent area. Okay. So on my iPad, it actually reflects the center point temperature of what the camera is showing. If I want to download the photo to the iPad, all I have to do is just capture the image on my two seven nine FC, save it, and immediately. it will be loaded to our Fluke Connect app. See? Okay. So if you want to email this image, you can just send a copy to my email and then you can do that. Okay. Okay, so now that we have captured the thermal image, the next thing that I want to share with you about Fluke Connect is that you can generate a report with it. So you come to the screen here this is the thermal image that I captured earlier of, our, of the vent of the motor and drive kit. So I want to generate a report, I just go back to the main menu, click onto the report option, and then click add report. Okay, this will be a thermal image report, and then it gives me the option to select a thermal image. So I will select this vent image that I took earlier, and I add. Okay, the next thing you want to do is to give this report a title. So the company name in this case for me will be Fluke. Okay, and then um, the report title I can say troubleshoot on VFD. Sorry. Okay. So then if that's if you have any additional information that you want to add about to, to give a summary of the report, you can have the option to do that as well. And then you can even add your company logo on it. Okay, that's optional. And then I click back and then I click save. So immediately this troubleshoot on VFD report is generated on the app. I click onto it and then this is what a base a basic thermal image report will look like with the Fluke Connect app. So in the case if you're on site and you need to generate a report quickly to send to your management team, this is what you can do with the Fluke Connect app. You can also email it 
to your manager. Okay, it gives you the option to do that in a PDF file if it's urgent. And then uh, what we would like to share here is just on a daily basis, if you can save 10 to 15 minutes just by generating, uh, just by churning out reports that can be done with this app. On a long-term basis, how much time are you able to save? And this can all be generated in the cost savings with your company. Thank you. Okay, so to the last feature that we're going to share about with you is called the Share Life feature on Float Connect. So for example, if I'm a junior engineer on site doing testing, and on my multimeter, it reflects abnormally low reading or even no reading. So what happens is that I'll try to call back to office to get help to explain whatever situation that I'm facing to, uh, for, for that causes this kind of reading. And then what happens is that the manager on the other end will then try to assist. If let's say in the worst case scenario, the manager may even have to make a trip down to the site just to see what is happening that caused such a problem. So, but now with the Float Connect Share Life feature, this is what I can do. I can just connect to the Float Connect app and then I tap onto the camera sign here. Okay. And then I'll call my boss, which is Jeremy here in this case. And Jeremy's mobile or iPad will start ringing. So he accepts my call. And I can start communicating with Jeremy. Okay. So whatever I see on my iPad or on my mobile, Jeremy will be able to see. So Jeremy can tell me to, you know, move around, video the surrounding for him to see, to, to, to let him assess what the situation is like. So in this case, Jeremy asked me to move to the to the switch button of the motor and drive kit. And then we realized that, oh, the reason for the low abnormal reading or no reading is actually because I did not turn on the, the system. So once he, it point, he points this out to me, immediately we get reading and we can solve the problem. The point we're trying to make here is that with Float Connect Share Life, we can actually do remote coaching. The manager doesn't have to come all the way to the site just to solve a simple issue like that. Collaborative troubleshooting can be achieved and ultimately this is the convenience that data and connectivity brings us. So that's what we have for you today and thank you for your time.